January. January is a two-faced kind of a month. Sort of faces back to the year that's gone and faces forward to the year that is ahead. And January is named after the Roman god Janus, who was always depicted as having two faces. One face looking forward, one face looking back. And I suppose that's particularly appropriate to me because I'm retiring at the end of this month and retirement makes you think if you reflect back on the past and for me that 65 years of life, 40 years in the ordained ministry, nine years as Bishop of Lincoln and I reflect upon what all that has meant and I suppose when I look back to my early years, even as quite a young child, I had an overwhelming sense of being loved by God. And I think my drive towards ordained ministry was to do with, well, if God loves me that much, that love is too good to keep to myself. And I ought to be sharing that love with others. And so getting ordained seemed to be a very natural way of seeking to share God's love for me with other people. But it's also retirement about looking forward. And I'm sure God laughs when we tell him our plans. But of course that doesn't stop us having our hopes. And I hope and pray that I can with Jackie enjoy a long and happy retirement. For my birthday last week I was given a nice box set, branch lines. And I thought this is going to be about those lovely old steam trains that used to ply the branch lines of Great Britain. So I thought it was a bit of instant nostalgia. Because when I put it in the machine to play it, it's not that at all. It's about modern branch lines. It's about the branch lines that are still operating. Uh, the ones that are serving the collieries and the oil refineries and the cement factories. And so retirement for me perhaps isn't, isn't so much being shunted into a siding off the main line. And I've been operating on the main line now for quite a few years. Rather than going onto a branch line. Still I hope being of use. Still having a purpose. Still having something to do. But, well, these old trains on the branch lines, they operate a bit more slowly, but they've still got a job to do, and I hope that in retirement I can continue to be of service to God and God's people and still have a very important role to play in fulfilling that calling which I heard so many years ago to be a minister in the Church of God. Well, January, a time to look back, a time to look forward, and a time to say thank you to say thank you to all those people who have enriched my life and ministry over these 40 years and not least these last few years here in the Diocese of Lincoln and I pray God's blessing upon you all as you reflect on what is past and go forward into God's wonderful future. May God bless you all.